guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, New Breeders. My name is Kiran and in this video, I'm going to be talking about The Hena Artist by Alka Joshi. I absolutely love this book because it was set in the 1950s, which is basically the post-independence era and it is set in the city Jaipur. Now, I have never been to Jaipur before, but I have to say that Alka Joshi has done such an amazing job because I can actually feel how the city is. It was just so colorful and everything was just so amazingly written. I absolutely loved her writing style. It's just so descriptive and you'll actually feel that you're there in Jaipur and I absolutely love that. So the protagonist of this book is Lakshmi who was married at the young age of 15 and after being with her husband for two years, she decides to leave him because she was in an abusive marriage and now after an entire decade, now Lakshmi has become one of the well-known henna artists in Jaipur and she basically serves the elite women of Jaipur. But Lakshmi has to take care of all the gossipers because she does not want to lose her job because after so long she became independent and she wants to fulfill her dreams and she wants to buy a home for herself. Now everything was going well when one day Lakshmi comes across her husband Hari who bought Radha with him, who is basically the younger sister of Lakshmi. Now, after this, the entire book is all about Radha, who is Lakshmi's younger sister, and their relationship and how Lakshmi's life is going to change completely due to Radha and whatever that Radha does. Now, there are a lot of different characters. Now, one of my favorite character is Malik. Now, Malik is, you can say, a friend of Lakshmi and He's someone who just works for Lakshmi and now he calls Lakshmi auntie boss which is so sweet and I just absolutely love their interaction. The interaction between Lakshmi and Malik are so cute and you will feel that found family element because of that. So I absolutely love the character. Throughout this book, the character that I absolutely hated was Radha. Like I do not want to say that I hate her but, but she just frustrated me so much because she could never listen to what Lakshmi is saying and Radha was just in her own world. I have to make myself understand that Kiran Radha is just 13 and she's just a child and that's how children are. They just do whatever that they want to do and they are not ready to listen and yeah she was the one character that I just could not stand throughout this book. Now I'm going to share my overall thoughts about this book and I can definitely say that this is a great book because it talks about the problems that were faced by women in the 1950s and how women are treated by the society and we also see the portrayal of women as mothers. Now we see a lot of different kinds of mothers, mothers who want children, mothers who do not want children and you will see a lot of different kind of mothers in this book. These are all the things that I personally really, really love. And apart from that, I will talk about one thing that I personally felt was really weird. I think the way henna is seen in this book is very different from how I used to think about henna. Now, I'm not 100% sure that whatever that was written, is it true or not? But yeah, it was interesting to read about. And but there is one thing that I personally just did not like and that was the portrayal of men and how this book just somehow shows that men do bad stuff and they can just get away with it without actually feeling responsible for it. So I just personally did not like the way it was handled and I think if, if it was done in a better way I would have rated this book even higher. I would have rated it 5 stars. But overall, it's an amazing book. It's an easy to read book and you can literally fly through the entire thing. And so, yes, I definitely recommend this book to everyone. Please go and read it. You will have an amazing time. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.